Here we go. I get a lot of questions about why my character wears this little single pointless band around my ankle. Now let's rewind many years back to 13 year old me, where this idea all began. One random day, I was watching videos on YouTube. Not all that much has changed really. Look, I can't quite remember who it was, but I remember this YouTuber saying she had the same necklace around her neck for like five or six years without taking it off for anything. In hindsight, that doesn't sound very inspirational, but my younger self was like, oh wow, that would be such a cool thing to do. I might have to try something like this. Oh, the choices. What should I pick? I don't think I could deal with a necklace around my neck 24 seven. <gasps> it may choke me in my sleep. <laughs> How about a ring? Mm, nah, too chunky. I guess that only leaves me with a bracelet. How about this one? You, my friend, are going to stay around for a while. Yeah, anyway, a very short lived journey. I always look back on this pathetic attempt and wonder why did I pick one like this? Of course it would be annoying. It wasn't even a super nice one or anything, just from either a quip or diva. If you're an Aussie and remember those shops, girl, they were it. Just look at all these super hip, fun, fashionable pieces. You can't forget that weird mustache phase. Not to mention these stores would blast EDM full volume constantly. So I would be casually looking at all the jewelry and my mum in the corner would be like, Oh, what? Who just took a screenshot of me? Ugh, the lighting, my skin, and a photo bomber in the background. Huh? Okay, okay, before anyone posts this horrific image, let me edit it a little bit with the help of today's sponsor, Epic. The Epic app is a super powerful professional standard photo and image editing tool to help you get the best final picture possible. First things first. The lighting. Let's adjust this a little. As you can see, when I move my finger around, I am able to shift the light source to emphasize highlights and shadows in the photo. And this alone enhances the image tenfold. But that's not all I'm going to do. See this blemish here? Go away. Unsightly. Trying to look like Kira Knightley. That needs to go, and that's a simple job thanks to Epic's Blemish Retouch tool. Yes, it's made for skin blemishes primarily, but as you can see here, you can get creative with the app's capabilities. And before you know it, the mark has been removed. Lastly, I noticed Joe popped up in the background. Not sure how that happened. My favorite tool on the app is perfect for this problem. It's called the remove tool and it allows you to seamlessly take away elements from the background of your photos. Into the abyss with you! Ta-da! The difference is night and day. This is another one I made in the past, not related to Jelly Jess. And as you can see, great results regardless of the subject matter. The best part? Epic is completely free to download, no catches whatsoever. You can download now on the App Store using the link in the description below. Thanks, Epic. Now let's fast forward a few years into the future. The year 3000. All right, Jay Bros, I've got to sit you down. I've had it up to here, right? This is too far into the future. I just want you guys to step back, take a breath, and Kevin, don't. <laughs> 2017 to be exact. I was daydreaming in one of my classes, probably English, but somehow something triggered this previous moment to into my head. I've got to redeem myself and I know how. <laughs> <laughs> that afternoon, I arrived home and checked my jewellery cabinet once more. This time, it was different. This time, I didn't look at my necklaces, bracelets, or even this one ring that was still there. I went straight to these anklets. Anklets! Yeah. I believe I got these as a gift once and rarely wore them, but oh boy, 
that was about to change. I didn't really have an end goal with this. To be honest, I just wanted to see how long I would last. It was great though, because most of the time I wore these, I could barely feel them. Keeping them on for a year was a breeze. But around that point is when some devastating news was broken to me. Well, since your end of school formal is coming up in a few days, those vans have got to go. Devo moment. They are looking so ratty. Devo moment. And so are you. Devo. Bye. Well, I guess this is goodbye. So long, pals. Thanks for sticking around for a year. I mean, it's not like you had much choice. Awkward. But this is the end. No, wait! Ah! You might have thought that wearing an anklet for this long was my weird, quirky <laughs> habit. We're only just getting started. This is where the annual anklet switching on the 30th of September became a tradition. After my formal, I put on a new pair of anklets. These had a greeny, tanny, browny color scheme made by my friend who also hooked me up for the next four years. I've always had them on my right leg, and if you're thinking why, well, it's quite personal, but here goes nothing. I... Without further ado, let's go to the 2021 anklet cutting ceremony I held for myself this year. Quality content. Welcome to my bedroom floor. It is currently uh, 5.39 on a Thursday, no, on September 30th. So today is the day to chop off these bad boys. Bad boys! As you can see, they are quite faded, but this one here actually used to look like this. Uh, so we're definitely gonna swap that. I'm also going to be using these very handy, funky scissors. So uh, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it's still hanging on. <laughs> okay, here we go, take two. Um, skip and... And here we go with this one. Uh, don't get the sock. Ah! And ladies and gentlemen, we have them off. We have them off! I still can't believe this is what a year difference looks like. Um, they look very different. <laughs> Since I'm down here, I'm just gonna show you all the past bands I've had on. Um, I hope that's not weird. But this is what all started it. So I've got these three bands that I put on this day in, um, 2017, that's so long ago. Um, so I took these off just before my year 12 formal and I put new bands on after my formal. So um, yeah, cause my mom didn't want these in the pictures. <laughs> so yeah, I've got these ones. Um, so 2018, I had these ones on for a year. And then when it was 2019, I put these ones on. Uh, this is just a plain brown one, but that's pretty cool, pretty different. And then once 2020 hits, I put these ones on. And now, since it is 2021, I'm going to be putting these fresh ones on. Just look at look at what they used to look like. I also just want to mention with some of these anklets, uh, especially the ones like my friend made, it's like you put it over your ankle and you can't get it off. So you gotta just wait until a year. Um, because I know these knots um, on either side, they do irritate. They did irritate me a little bit, um, probably for the first week, but you know, they wear down. So um, yeah, I am about to put these on. Oh, we got some new ones on. These are the only ones I have left. Um, they're a bit fruity. Um, are they though? <laughs> I was thinking about this. But I thought the beads might annoy me after a while or dig in or something. And I just feel like these wouldn't match with like one of the green ones. So I don't know. Who knows? I might wear these eventually, but um, not this year. If you're wondering why I have been doing this for five years now, I don't know. I can't explain this. Each year when I change them, I find it really cool to think that they had been there throughout everything the year threw at me. 
every fun and sad time. These bands were worn when I graduated school. Whilst I made literally every YouTube video on this channel, throughout every shift I've ever worked at LOLs, traveling overseas for the first time, learning how to roller skate, and of course, every meal and consequently, every time I go take a dump. So yeah, that's it. The weirdest thing I've been doing for the last couple years. I'm not embarrassed, haha, <laughs> tell me your weird habits you guys have, please. I'm not the only one, right? Please, haha, <laughs> bye.